Okay, so today here what we're looking at is we're looking at polygons, okay? And let's just talk about the word polygon for a moment because it's an important word. So when we're talking about geometry, poly means many, okay? And gons means side, sides, okay? So when we have a many-sided shape, we're talking about a polygon, okay? And when we're talking about polygons, we're talking about 2D shapes. So there's plenty of 2D shapes that you would be aware of, okay, that we have um, and that we use. So obviously a triangle and a square, they're two ones that we use a lot. Now there's a few things that you need to understand and a few terminologies that we're going to use. So the first one is convex and non-convex. So a convex polygon is a polygon that has all of its vertices. Now a vertice is where two sides meet. Okay, so that would be a vertice. Now, um, when we look at vertices, a polygon will be convex, okay, if all of the vertices are pointing out, okay? So a square is a convex shape, all right? All of the vertices are pointing out. However, we can have a shape that is non-convex. Um, for instance, if we had a polygon that looked like this, okay? That's a four-sided shape. However, it's got one angle here that um, is non-convex. We can also call that concave. So sometimes you'll see the term concave come up and that's what it means. It means that it's not convex, okay? The next one is regular or irregular, okay? Now a regular polygon, and I'm gonna draw one up here now. Um, a regular polygon, this one is an equilateral triangle. It is regular because it has all of its angles of the same size. So all of the angles in a um, equilateral triangle equal 60 degrees each, okay? And all of the sides, as we can see by these markers here, are also equal. So in order for it to be regular, okay, all of the sides and all of the angles need to be equal. An irregular shape obviously is something that doesn't have those things. So this would be a irregular shape here. Um, a rectangle because even though all the angles are equal all of the sides are not equal so it would be irregular now when we're naming polygons it's pretty important and we need to look at um, naming polygons by the number of sides that they have the main two that we're going to be focusing on obviously triangles okay but also four-sided shapes and four-sided shapes are called quadrilaterals um, and it's important to know the different special types of quadrilaterals and we're going to talk about them a little bit more um, once we get onto quadrilaterals. Now, these key ideas on page 467 are really important. They have all of the um, different types of polygons when we name them by the number of sides and there'll, there'll be ones in there like hexagons, um, and um, septagons and octagons that you're, you're familiar with, okay, already. But you need to check those and make sure that you know which names they are. That's basically all you need to know for polygons at the moment. Um, refer to those key ideas and remember the convex, non-convex and regular or irregular.